Welcome to Pilar's Pillars, your audio and video access to interviews, communication techniques, insights, and information that will help you speak more and speak better. Now here's your host, Pilar Ortiz. So today, how many of you are doing videos already? Okay, five people. Why the other people are not doing videos? You don't have to answer to me, but just think about it. If video is the present and the future of businesses, and we hear that all over and over and over again, because it helps in the traffic and the internet, the marketing pieces, should we be using more to go to get to that bit? I hear many reasons. I hear from, I don't have the time, to I don't have the money, it's very expensive, I want to, but I don't know how to, and you can, you know, keep going on the list. But I'm here to say that I know from experience that it can be learned. All my career and my life was in television. 25 years in front of that camera, and I never thought about that possibility. And now I'm like, that's my talent. I love it. But I had to learn it. So now my other passion is to help others to find that talent that I know all of you so that's what we are going to be doing here. What to do and what not to do. My promise is that you will get some tips today that you can apply right away. So that's my promise that you will be get some tips applicable today as fast as this afternoon. And if you want more, you will get them by signing up in my website or I can do it for you. And as a matter of fact, we will be sending you an electronic um, document handout with some of the tips. YouTube channel. Do you have your own channel already? Half of the group maybe? 30%? How many times are we putting videos there? Having the channel is not enough. Consistency is what is important. And speaking from experience, even as easy as it is for me to be in front of a camera for one hour and record 10 to 15 one minute videos, it was hard to do it. It was very hard to do it every week because the hair, because the makeup, because the time, because the camera, because whatever. And I know how difficult it is to do it every week, even when it's easy. So one of the barriers that I've noticed is that time issue. And one of the solutions that I share is do it only once a month and record. I know I can do 15, 20 minutes, 20 videos, like one take. But I know the average will do three or four in an hour working from script and everything. And that tops because a lot of times it takes a lot of time and it could be only two videos. But if you do two or three videos once a month and you put them in all these social media, you have every week pretty much that consistency. And that's going to bring our numbers up and our presence and people are gonna find our content easier. <laughs> Volunteers. <laughs> so, I would like to have two volunteers because right from this point on, I don't want to be doing all the talking, but I want to be showing you what I'm talking about and feeling it. So, do I have one volunteer that will come up here and pretend that are doing a 30, 40 second video for your viewers? Do you want to come? Sure. Okay, good. Do you want to volunteer too? Thanks, <laughs> Okay, we will. Okay, 
We will, we will. Because I just want for you, you have the camera right there. Nobody's looking, really. Okay. Only 10 million people right yeah, there. No, that's all. Let me just be on this side. Okay. Very aware of my camera. <laughs> <laughs> and that's important, by the way. So let's just do one minute video. Pretty much your elevator speech or your what you do, that introduction that you will do on your website. It'll be on my website. Okay. Or your social media. Or you're you ready to go. Okay. So three, two. Hi, I'm Terry Martin back, and I would like to welcome you to my Invest Gainesville. If you've ever had the desire to invest in real estate, this is the opportunity for you to take that opportunity to learn how to invest in real estate the right way. No, no obligation initially when you come on. We would encourage you to join our group on a monthly basis, two workshops where you're going to be able to learn how to invest in real estate the right way. We're going to teach you techniques. How do we evaluate property? What is the best way to get a mortgage? And when is the opportunity for you to invest in real estate? Very good. Applause. Thank you. So, you feel very comfortable? True. How do you feel today? Fine. How do you see Terry be? I only saw him from the side. And the only thing I could see was it almost seemed like you weren't breathing. <laughs> yeah, I mean, from down here. <laughs> like you were going to run out of air. Okay. I noticed um, just because I I went to this before when he's moving forward and backward that would be in and out of frame or it could be distracting. Mm -hmm. Okay. Good posture. Confident. He knows what he's talking about. He doesn't hesitate. Very good eye contact. We will go on, on that. That's one of the most difficult times. One time only you look down, but pretty much a very good eye contact. You are right. That balancing at the beginning, did you notice that it was only at the beginning? And I didn't give you what to look for because he, he wouldn't be fair to him. But you notice that. That will give the idea that he's not there and it will be out of the frame and he's trying to, that's why it happened only at the beginning of the, of the segment, because he was kind of getting his place. Okay, now I'm comfortable. We cannot have that on the video. He was very serious. Yes. I will definitely work on those eyes and that expression, and we will talk about that more in a minute, because now more than ever that people are watching those videos and this is mobile devices, we have to make sure we are connecting with the eyes and the smile. All the power on video is here, but whatever we do here can be seen and felt. So do we have to have the power here, but we need to be aware of the rest. And like pointing, for example, it used to be something that people will do a lot, like this is for you, not anymore. Because now it's almost like writing everything in capital letters. Like, and we are talking to a younger generation that thinks differently and I am not here to tell you what to do. I'm here to share from my experience so it's more an open invitation than a yeah, <laughs> do not miss it. A lot of my clients tend to do that. I myself had to learn to get out of that because it was the way it was done. We will learn more tips overall. Very good. Another volunteer? We had someone that wanted to, or you had a question? No, you volunteer. change your mind? I'm a volunteer. You still want to help us? Yes. Good. <laughs> Okay, so we are going to do the same thing if we can probably do it a little farther so they can see. Do you have like mm, a tip from where you speak about that you would like to share with, in a video or? Not really. Um, my topic's like motivation and inspiration. Okay. I don't really have a 
So yeah, would you like to do just the introduction, the presentation? Yeah. Have you done videos before? No, ma'am. No? Okay. So this is Very our wrong. Place. Very wrong. <laughs> <laughs> yes, okay. Okay. Yeah, this is the first step. Yeah. Very, very nice. So what will be, what is the most, um, the question that almost everyone asks you before you're, you talk to them? That pain that they are having that you are helping them to solve. How do you get through? Okay, let's talk for 30 seconds, 40 seconds. How do you get through? To the camera, on three, two, one. How many of you are wondering how do you get through a particular situation? Life comes at you at many different angles and you often wonder what are you gonna do next? Well, we've all faced situations and trials and tribulations where we don't know what we're going to do. So instead of wanting someone to motivate you, I'm here to motivate you as well as inspire you. Motivating you will only last you for a temporary moment, but to inspire you will take you throughout your journey. So I'm Coach AD. Coach AD means I'm here to motivate you and inspire you throughout your life. Thank you very much. How do you feel now that it's over? I feel pretty bad because I look at you. <laughs> <laughs> only once, yeah, so, yeah, only, only once. once. But this is what I'm talking about when we see the video. He hasn't seen the video, but we focus in in that one. <laughs> <Okay. laughs> now I cannot say the word without thinking. <laughs> so it's the one thing. All the the rest of the time he was looking at the camera. Let's do one coaching piece right here. I'm going to ask you to do two things, but I'm not going to let them know what it is. They don't know, but we just change little, one little part. You don't know what it is. What question? No, no, no. Okay. Okay, so let's. See, we are re-recording. Three, two. <laughs> everyone has trials and tribulations throughout their life, and everyone wants to know what can they do to better their lives, to better their face with any struggles. If you're someone who's having struggles, <clears throat> excuse me, or any trials or tribulations, I'm here to help you and motivate you through your situations. Not only will I motivate you, but I will also inspire you to get through your life. Yes! Your <laughs> Did you notice any difference between the first one and the second one? Smile and smile. And slower and pace and smile. Did you hear what I told you? Yeah. <laughs> no. <laughs> Did we notice a difference? If we were recording the video, he's connecting in the second one, easier and better, getting that message across. And this is wonderful what he just did because he's like on the spot in front yeah. of 30 people yeah. do this. I'm like, oh, how do I do this? He did fantastic, by the way. Mm -hmm. yeah. <laughs> do you see how knowing what to do changed the whole whole perspective. Mm -hmm. What else did we see? That they well, combined? I think that slowing down is good. Uh, it was very obvious when you went this. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah. he, was, he was trying to put his mind like he said. Yeah, she yeah. said to and I, know that, I know that you say that I understand that connecting, I mean, you say I think with the eyes is very important and I think slowing down is really important. But I'm not sure with him, with the big smile at the beginning, really fit because he's, then he starts off saying, you all have struggles. Well, you don't start off if you all have struggles, you're really not going to have this big smile on your face if you're talking about having smiles. That's very, that very true. Kind of out of place to me. 
Absolutely. And this is just an exercise as a quick reminder. We are here like training and everything here is not just a final product. I didn't say smile like that at the beginning. I only say smile a little. He, he tried to put his face and he's smiling. You are absolutely right. So this is the training. This is like, oh my gosh, I can't. And then you suddenly can get a little more weight. It's still not a final product. I just wanted to show you the difference between one and two with two little changes. You are absolutely right. That smile doesn't belong there. He just used it as, uh, oh, she said I had to do this. So that was either his safe place to go. But you are absolutely right. You can have Great a seat. Job and, thank you. So, to look or not to look, what do you think? I think if you're the only person on camera, you look at the camera. If there's two people, you look at the other person. Mm -hmm. But looking at the camera means looking at the camera, not maybe looking at the camera. We heard, uh, your name is? Eddie. Eddie? Eddie. <coughs> Eddie. Mm -hmm. Eddie. Eddie was, uh, somebody uh, asked him and he said, I look at you only once. That once, if he's by himself, is very important. And we will have to record the video again because we disconnect from the audience as soon as we do this, like thinking. We can do it in person, but on the camera, how do we look if I'm talking to you and suddenly I'm like, yeah, this is it, and I go back. It doesn't look very well because I'm kind of looking around. So we have to learn to make eye contact. If we are being interviewed, where do you look? That's the only place. You look at that person and the object, if you have a book or something on your hand, those are the two places where you look at. No more. If you are doing a video on your own, look at the camera only. What I would like for you to do, I know it's enough, not enough mirrors for every person, but at the same time, I need for you to talk for one minute about your topic to yourself. Not to your neighbor, it's not a conversation, not looking for approval, not your camera, no the mirror, this fantastic tool that we have available. Everywhere, don't do it in your car. No. For one minute, only looking at your eyes. Three, Inner two, monologue, yes. Are we monologue. Yeah, yeah. Uh, loud, but not super loud. It's with you, but yes, uh, I want to hear you because the energy, by the way, is very different. Whenever I say practice this, it's not the same like, that's not enough, that I actually do it and I'm practicing because the voice will give me another uh, order to the brain. So yes, say it loud enough for you. We were smiling. And earlier we said that he smiled at the beginning and it looked like it's not natural. Whenever I say smiley eyes, is that connection. Because I was doing this training with some managers of a funeral home. And they were like, come on, what are you talking about? We don't want to smile when we are talking about dead packages. But I mean that connection, because if you are able to smile with your eyes and then you have to say something serious, you notice the difference. Mm -hmm. And by knowing what we are doing with our eyes, we can make that difference. So look at my eyes for a second. I'm going on vacation tomorrow. 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 Did you notice yeah. in the first one, oh, I yeah. didn't smile with my eyes. Yeah. In the second one, I did smile, but I didn't, did, I didn't do like, I'm going on vacation tomorrow, I'm at six. <laughs> but you notice the difference. So that is the little difference that in the mirror we can look for. 
These will help us to look natural, confident, and credible. Do we want that with our audiences? Yes. yes. And we want to show up to a place where they see, oh, she looks like the video, or I'm familiar to, oh, I feel like I know you. I love when people tell that to me. Like, I feel like I know you. You are my friend. <laughs> like, good. Because the video did it for me. So it's wonderful. Nobody has said this one yet, but this is one question that I get a lot of times. And it comes a little bit with what you were talking about. How do I use my hands? Any idea? When you don't point, that's not good. No, <laughs> exactly. Keep them, them smaller so it's in the camera shot. Mm -hmm. So the camera oh, shot it will be something like this and I'm used to use my hands like this, what do we do in order to use the hands and look natural at the same time? By the way, we are talking that the shot is here. We have to make sure the hands are here and not here. This is the natural place where our hands are. On camera, we have to trick the camera. The same way we do with the depth, the distance, you do it with your hands. So, I don't want for you to say that Pilar told you <laughs> to do this. <laughs> that would ruin my career. So please, this is not what I'm talking about. Of course it's it. <laughs> this is not what I'm talking about. However, yes, this is what I'm talking about. So I brought my hands from here to hear in a natural way. My shoulders go up, but not too much, and my elbows stay closer to my body, so I'm not doing this, but I'm tricking that shot, which looks a little uncomfortable here, it looks, but on camera will look very good, because this is all what the person is seeing, but I, I did two things that I naturally wouldn't do. Elbows closer to the body and shoulders just a little bit up. So the hands go above your waist. Like it? Sound good? So that's a very important thing with the hands, posture and position. If you are standing up, being aware of the balance and not moving is very important. If you are sitting down, you don't want to be very comfortable. Success is uncomfortable. It is, and it hurts like you. That's when you know you have the right posture. Well, Say that again, pain. <laughs> Do I need pain? It hurts. Yeah. If it hurts, it's good. <laughs> it hurts. It's like exercise. <laughs> it is. So, just uh, one tip if you are sitting down. I said everything that I was sharing today was about videos standing up or just this shot, but I'm a giver, I cannot help it. So I give you more. So you are sitting down on an interview and you want to have your back separate from the chair. We don't want to own it. So you don't want to be comfortable. Yeah, right. This yeah, is sure. comfortable, but it would look terrible and cheap. So this is the corner. You only touch the chair here, and the back is separate from the chair. And then you will learn what to do with your legs, that's another time. And this looks powerful and different, and a little bit uncomfortable, <laughs> but it looks nice. But it hurts so good, right? It's a good hurt. <laughs> or you can get a knotted chair, which sets you up straight, you don't have to do it yourself. Yeah. <laughs> So this is not about being... <laughs> she told me that it's very uncomfortable. And this is uncomfortable. Must be doing it right. <laughs> oh, I'm perfect. My videos look fantastic. And I'm turning around, so you know what I mean. What is authentic and what is natural? We need to know that. And that's the assessment is very important. We don't know what we don't know. And we may think we're doing it very good, and then we look at the videos and we can do it better. Or we can do it right. 
I have seen both. <laughs> <laughs> it's important to know what we are doing and how to do it differently. So if you're recording these videos, I always recommend to hire someone, a professional like Juan Guillermo, thank you. When you are doing a program, an online, a DVD, a course. But the truth is, if we are doing one minute videos all day long, you are not going to hire me as a coach probably, even though I do have clients, that because they don't do it on their own, they come to my studio once a month and in one hour, we take 15 videos. They are already in that place. I took them there. And it makes sense. You just come, forget about it. We edit the, the videos for you. You upload them on YouTube. But you cannot hire probably a coach or a, vi a video photographer every single time to do all these videos. Make sure you do when you need that wonderful quality video for your website or your product. So now that we have everything and the technology in our hands, let's use it, but let's know how to use it. So we don't put out there, because whatever we put out there stays there forever. <laughs> so even though our videos will be better than before, and of course my videos from 20 years ago are different, make sure you are doing the best you can today, and you know, keep growing, that's important. So if you're doing it at your home, light, even if you are using a floor lamp, there are three lights that are important. One, two, and then what is called the backlight, which pretty much hits here. When you are at home, it's very difficult to have one light like this, unless it's in the kitchen, but you don't want your refrigerator <laughs> on the back. So you will be okay with the other two lights. The, at the height of your face, or a window that it will be the light. And what I'm saying, the window will be behind the camera, not behind you. So if that's my camera, that's the window, and I'm here. So you don't look dark or with a lot of ch shadows. Do not forget the audio, I do have another slide. Microphone is the most important part of video. Don't forget that. Audio is the most important part of video. This, uh, this is, Kim, the answer to your question. For this type of videos, three feet, uh, feet it's a good distance. You will see something more dramatic when they do like the 60 minute TV magazine. They will do something very close because they want for you to feel the drama in this interview. So they will do a close up. And in another type of um, situations, they will have that general shot. But when we are doing this type of videos, three feet is a good distance. If you have a background, like we were talking before earlier, like you have, uh, even if it's not a bookshelf, but I'm thinking more that, uh, how do you call this? Background. Like a background, yeah, background, I guess, background, when they, you have your logo or, or some letters. Make sure you are not so close to it that you don't have any depth. Same thing if you're doing in your living room. This is my living room in my house. So it's keeping that distance between the background and you. Be careful with the shadows. Have you ever wondered? That's a good video. Have you ever wondered what to wear on television? We have videos all the time. So when you run out of ideas, Call me, I give you a couple of minutes. <laughs> what to wear? It's different also. It's different if we are going to be in front of a big audience or a small audience. It goes with the branding, as Peggy was talking about. But if your branding is white and you are going to be on TV, hmm, white is one of those colors that doesn't work because it takes all the light. 
from the video. So if it's just a shirt underneath the jacket, it's okay. But if you are going to wear a white jacket, it will be more tricky, more difficult to balance that. White balance, by the way, is called white balance, the colors. These are the basics, base, the basic, basic information. This is safe. No tricolors like navy blue, brown, soft, like this, uh, uh, like a light pink, baby blue, pastels. Very soft pattern. So this for men, the ties, be aware and be careful that it's not going to be a small pattern or a lot of stripes that is going to be like jumping in the camera. And same with the fabric of our dresses. So if it's a big pattern, it will look good, but if it's very small, it tends to vibrate, so to move like wavy. Why to avoid bright colors? Because if the camera is not the best, best, best camera, professional camera, they tend to change. So we wear a red jacket thinking that we look so powerful, then we finish the video and it looks pink or fuchsia, so it's more difficult to work with those colors. But if you are going to a TV station, again, these are tips for this type of video. Mm -hmm. If you are going to a television station, they have more lights, they have the right equipment, you are okay. Pretty much with any color. White stays kind of like, no, 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 no. But the red will look red, the green will look green. So again, these are specifically for this type of videos. You can wear all the other colors, but with the right equipment, the right tools, so they look good. Any question about and I do have more like skirt or pants if you are going to an interview. Make sure they fit, by the way. But the clothes fit wonderful. Mm -hmm. Your size. Mm -hmm. A lot of times people will wear them so big to cover a little extra weight or too tight to do the same. Mm -hmm. So just be aware of the, of the size. And by the way, the camera will add five, six, or eight pounds. But the clothing is not where we fix that. We have two solutions. One, we all know what it is. Eat less. And it's difficult. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and the second one is to play with the angle of the camera. So it's not the same. And again, it's a, it's, you are always tricking that beautiful machine. I love cameras. It's not the same to be standing like this than to be standing like this, if you wear my camera. It's different if I am standing like that than if I'm standing like this. Totally different. I just saved like 10 pounds right now. Right now. Right. 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 So, so those are those little tricks. There are many, many, many. I will probably give you a hundred of what is your best angle? How to turn? How to put your feet? How to, in order for you to look at your best? Yes? Now, does it still add five to 10 pounds now that the, the, the screens are flat? I had always thought it was because the television screen curved and that's why it added weight to you. But now we have flat screens. We have flat screens that? still and adding a little bit more. Now the wrinkles show more, every single little spot, detail <coughs> will, look, will look a little more. Those high definition, beautiful. So, so it still adds the 10 pounds and mm. makes you look more sometimes. Okay. Great, yeah. can't wait. <laughs> Let's see that if it's not more television, television appearances. <laughs> <laughs> I had someone else that had their hand. No? No? Okay. So what is what we have been doing today in uh, the last hour? Are you getting some tips? You are yes. getting inspired to do videos. Yes. Am I going to be seeing some of those videos? Yes. Go Commitment. Yes. Go to my channel now. I can go to your channel now. Sure. 
But I want to see some videos after today. Uh, good ones. <laughs> but I will. <laughs> so this is just the beginning. You get the idea. You saw the volunteers. We saw what a little change does. We feel it. We felt with these exercises what can be done. It's just the beginning. It takes practice. Some people will develop it easier. We didn't talk about the message, what to say. Sound bites I heard earlier here. Keywords. It's a different way of presenting the message. We want to have paragraphs. We want to have puzzles. We want to have something that is easier to understand. But we got a good start, right? We got more than five, six, seven tips that we can do right away in order to be as close as possible to my best me. That's my goal, that I help you to be your best self. How to look, how to be confident with that camera. And this is part of the process. Once we learned the body language, and the voice techniques, we take care of the clarity of the message. Even though we start there, because you have to know what to say, we come back like a round circle to work on the message, to do that. But this is the starting point. Ah, this is a favorite for men. They love makeup. <laughs> they love makeup. Just a little. Men and women need to use makeup. And when I say makeup, it's only the powder foundation. I'm not saying mascara, don't worry, lipstick. Don't <laughs> Even though some newscasters will do a little bit of eyebrows. But just make sure you don't look, probably I look very shiny now, but we have to cover all that from the face. And only makeup will do it. A uh, towel is not enough. A Kleenex will be a lot of little things. So. <laughs> Finding a um, matte, 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 powder or foundation will do it. And then women will put a little bit more of the colors. Make sure it's not something that is very shiny or bright, a lot of glitter. We don't want that on video, but definitely, don't you, look, don't you love this picture? <laughs> <laughs> but definitely, we need a little makeup. So we are, and the main reason is the distraction factor, by the way. To look beautiful, yeah, we all want to look beautiful, we want to look beautiful. But it's the distraction. The last thing we want is that we are, Looking at the video, we're watching, I was like, oh, what is that? And it's like, same thing with the reflection of the glasses, with accessories, with sounds, like if I have bracelets and then I'm talking on, on this bracelet, we saw it with Peggy that she had to take the necklace because of the microphone, that's the same reason. So that's why makeup is very important, just to look as natural. More important, and we are all speakers, we know how important body language is. We are always training to do the best on stage. Same thing with videos. We want to make sure we are expressing exactly what it is. And as I said before, those expressions are on the face and the head. Naturally. Not fake. So being natural takes a lot of practice. <laughs> <laughs> Only by knowing, oh, how am I with my friends and I laugh and oh yes, that's very nice. I want to look the same on camera. You see my videos, you see me, 100%. You see the video, it's just like you see myself. And that took years. It doesn't happen just because, oh, I learned the trick. But when you have that moment, 
of truth, like you like yourself, like this isn't me, you got it. And that's why we have always this opportunity for you. This is a special deal that uh, we work with our NSA Academy members. You can book your own time, 90 minutes with me. We will record and we work on the script of two videos, about a minute, a minute and 20. It doesn't matter. I mean, not a 10 minute video, but about a minute to two minute video on your own time by yourself in order to have two videos ready. By the way, if you don't know how to upload them, I will I'll upload them to you, for you on YouTube. But this is that message, and that will give you more tools of how to work on that script so you are able to do more videos on your own. Because this is the way to go, this is the way for the world to know our, about our message, and we don't need more excuses. We have time, we have the tools, Let's have the videos work for us. Thank you very much.